do 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 All right, what's, got, what's going on guys? We've got a Patrol 672 full suspension bike here that we converted into a high power e-bike, custom made e-bike. Uh, I'm gonna be going over this bike, what we did to it, what makes this bike awesome. If you have this bike, what you're gonna need to do to you know outfit it similarly. We're gonna do a top speed test. It's hard to tell, but it's a little rainy here, so I'm not gonna do a hill climb test because I do the hill climb test on, on grass. So no hill climb test, but this thing would be a beast but we will do a top speed test. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. We do custom e-bike builds. We take regular bikes, turn them into an e-bike. Way better than something you could buy online, something pre-made. Big differences, these are tunable, these are programmable, customizable, they're upgradable, they're everything able. Everything you could, the illity and able illity of this thing is way better than anything you could buy online, any direct-to-consumer bike or anything. So if you guys watch this channel, you know that I'm a huge proponent of building an e-bike versus buying one. I do think this is the future. I could go on, I could go on and on and about it. Uh, I should stop right now. If you want something that you're gonna be able to get support for, for years, build your own e-bike. This is a case in point. This is an amazing bike. This is the Patrol 672 full suspension bike. I forgot to grab my scale, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll weigh it and I'll put the, the weight in the description below. And also, if you, want, if you have questions about the parts that I'm using here, check the description below. I'll put links to it and how to get stuff. Okay, so this is a full suspension bike. This thing is it's a great bike. This is a great trail bike. We went with the Bafang BBS HD 68 millimeter version. I think this one has like a 71 millimeter bottom bracket. So the 68 will work. 68 millimeter bottom brackets work up to 73. The chain line was pretty gnarly. It gets pushed out quite a bit, especially with these BBS HDs. They kind of get pushed out away from the bike too much. So we went with the 42 tooth Lecky. And what that does is brings the chain line back in. So we're able to use all the gears. If you went with a stock chain ring or something that was a little bit more flat, the chain would jump off on these first two, possibly even three gears. But because we brought the chain line back in, awesome. We put a gear shift sensor in. I was able to tuck it in, in between the motor and the, uh, the frame. So it's, you can't even see it, which I really like that one. This has a, I think it's a 41 millimeter bottom bracket. So it's a lot wider than this motor. So what I have is these, I got these custom made for me. They're offset bottom bracket adapters. So it, it's like a big hole like this. And this, so you move the circle to the, it's offset. I take a look at the description and it brings the center of the bottom bracket right where you need it. Lifesaver. We use some Lecky spacers here, the five millimeters. We went, we used two of them. We went with the Slim Shark 52 volt, 14 amp hour Slim Shark battery, keeps weight down. Um, and we're holding this on with the Triple Bob. That's a company called Grin. They makes the Triple Bob. It means you could mount a battery anywhere. Anywhere where you have a flat surface of about 14 to 15 inches, you can mount a battery to it. And this thing really holds it on. It's hose clamped on by these three hose clamps. And this thing, I mean, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, and especially since you got it up top here, where it's a little bit more top heavy, you definitely want to make sure it's secured on there. You can see you can't really fit it anywhere here. We could probably put a really small saddlebag. Eh, that's, don't, don't do that. It doesn't interfere with step over height at all. And these things weigh about seven pounds. So it doesn't really affect uh, being top heavy that much. We added hydraulic brake sensors to these. You know, I'm a big fan of replacing these with the built-in sensors, but the customer here did not want to go that route. They're like, you know, these brakes are fine. Let's just add the sensors to it. So yeah, you just want to use either like a JB Weld or like a Loctite type of super glue, like something really strong to keep these sensors on because if you smash them into a tree or a door jam or something, they will fall off. We went with a 600C color display. Oh, and this is the UART version, by the way. I know this is 2025. Bafang has discontinued the UART version. Hopefully it's a temporary thing, but they, they moved to CAN bus. So the UART version is the programmable, tunable one that, that's super easy and cheap to do. CAN bus is gonna be a little bit trickier to, uh, to do so on, but who knows, as, as time goes on, we'll, we'll find ways to, to tune those motors. We also, this is a full suspension bike and he wanted a rear rack. So we added the toe peak Tetra rack. This is the M2L. This is made for mountain bikes, full suspension mountain bikes. So this mounts on to the seat stay here and it, it clamps on really strong. It's got like a 26 pound weight, I believe. Yeah, 20, 25 pounds. So, I mean, it's, it's on there pretty, pretty secure. Good for, you know, small stuff. 
you don't want to put a kid on there like a passenger, but all right, let's go do a top speed test. All right, so you can see 32 miles an hour, and I will say the battery was at about 30% when I did this. So 32 miles an hour on an almost dead battery. So this probably should have been about 35, I bet, if it was fully charged, because the higher voltage you are, the motor spins faster, so you get higher top speed. If this was at 58.8, I bet you we'd be getting about 34 miles an hour, 35, somewhere around there. But yeah, this is a nice bike. It's got good components on it. Rock shock, front and rear, massive. <laughs> front disc rotor i think these are 203s this is a, a just a, an amazing bike to get you know all in you're looking at about 1500 bucks if you wanted to do this exact same thing yourself where if you were to buy something like this direct to consumer wise you'd be spending four grand probably and it's not going to be this lightweight this is super lightweight if you buy something pre-built they make the frame so big and heavy yes it might look a little bit better but it's gonna weigh probably 20 to 30 pounds heavier. And at that point, are you, are you driving a motorcycle or are you riding a bicycle? And I know some of you can argue with this power, same thing, is it a bicycle or is it a motorcycle? But it feels like a bicycle. Feel free to answer, ask me any questions. Take a look at the description down below for links to all these stuff. And yeah, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks guys. Do, 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 do.